phone, it's your fasting phone. If you ask me what type of learner I am, I would say that I'm a linguistic learner. Thanks! And what type of learner are you? Uh, I'm a visual learner. Alright! And today, we will be looking at, not physics, but our second brand new physics website. I, th that's right, I have just released my second physics website. It's great news. In fact, the link is down below. It's consisted of five parts. First of all, we have the flipped class, which is dimensional analysis. We'll be looking at dimensional analysis. Then we have the do now, which is the beginning of the lesson and is fundamental quantity. Fundamental, fundamental quantities are yeah, important. I fundamental uh, quantities. I think there is eight fundamental units. No, there it's are not. Seven. It's not unit. It's quantity. Yes, fundamental there quantity, there man. All right. So I think Isaac is wrong. There must be six. Y you know what? Yeah. This is a professor. He has a beard, so he must be a professor. Do you know how many fundamental quantities? Eight million, nine million, six million. Thank I, you, I thank you, professor. Yeah. Thank you, professor. But you know. I think we need we need a physics professor. You must not be a physics professor, although you have a beard. So we we, we need a physics okay, professor. Thank you, thank you. All right. Guys, I told you it's no, six. It's no, gotta be six. Gotta be six. Then you have the big idea, the big heart of the lesson, which can actually be taught individual. Derived quantities versus fundamental. Let's see the peak of what we can get. <laughs> Is our escape room. That's because we have made a special escape room coded with 2,000 lines of hard-made code. That is scalars versus vectors. The West. All right. And so China probably thinks of the West as negative, but I promise I'm not China. But then. <laughs> Three doors. If you open a door without answering the question correct, a ghost will be revealed, which consists of menacing evil creatures such as the Pennywise or the Joker. If you get all three of them right, then you've escaped. But if you get one door wrong all three times, then you should probably run for your life. You're in for trouble. And to then that our escape room, which will have questions based around the video of scalars versus vectors. And finally, the video number 10, which is also homework for our website, is equal to reference frames. Watching me from the moon. The Chinese president, Xi Jinping, just said, what do you mean this nonsense with respect to the moon? <laughs> everything is in respect to us. We are reference frame. We are center of everything because we are more powerful than America. So Biden has officially announced, I may not have a big map, but I certainly have big bombs. Don't forget Japan. <laughs> which is the end of the lesson, and which can also be chopped up and taught individually. So, uh, hopefully you like our second website. Remember, we'll make 180 of these. Why am I making such effortful websites? Well, to cater to all seven types of learners. Let me introduce you to three or four of them. Okay, and what type of learner are you? Learner? Yeah. Uh, physical learner, kinesthetic. Another one that's not a visual learner. Well, this is extremely rare. All right, and what type of learner are you? Uh, so I'm a, I'm a, uh, <laughs> a linguistic learner. So I guess I would say that I learn by reading and then doing practice problems. And what is your type of learning? Are you visual, auditory, kinesthetic, thing like that? Um, visual, I think, generally. All right, and what type of learner would you be? I'm a visual learner. I All right, say. got it. What type of learner are you? Visual, auditory, linguistic? I'm going to have to go with visual. Oh. Yeah, definitely, I think. Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming. 